Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to today's tutorial. My name is Naomi. On today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful kaftan dress. And if you're interested, please keep watching. So we'll be starting by folding our fabric into four. I'm using two yards of Ankara fabric, which has a length of 45 inches. So I folded it into four. You fold it into two and then fold it again. So we'll be able to cut the front and the back together. My center back and my center front will be the one that doesn't have any opening. And then I'll go ahead to measure the length of my dress, which was 37 and a half inches. You can go shorter if you want or longer that would be like a mid dress so that's what i did and then i went ahead to cut that out the remaining part of the fabric would be my pocket i love anything with pocket now we're going to take our neck width which is three by three inches that's three inches wide and three inches deep then we'll take our shoulder measurement which is um divided by two mine is seven and a half then i added 10 inches to that but you can just easily use the whole length of that um, shoulder. So this is me adding 10 inches to my already um, measured shoulder measurement. And like I said earlier, you can just use the whole piece for on the shoulder. The reason we are doing that is because we are not cutting any sleeves separately. We are cutting it together with the dress. Now we are going to curve out our neckline by using our hand or a curve. Now from the edge right there, we are going to come down by 10 and a half inches. That will be for our armhole. Now at the top, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. This is very optional. You can either do this or not, but I decided to. Then you go ahead to connect it to your neck width. Now we have taken our shoulder slope, our neck width, our armhole, and now we are going to take our shoulder to hips measurement. So my shoulder to hip measurement is 23 inches, which I'm going to just mark a straight line so I know where it is. So I'm going to take the cut of my hip measurement, which is my hip divided by 4. Then I'm going to add 5 inches to whatever measurement I have. So I'm going to connect from my armhole to my hip point, like I'm doing in the video. This is what you should have. Now from my hip point, I'm going to connect a straight line to the hem. So now you have this. I'll go ahead and cut that out and cut out the neck measurement as well. Please don't forget to cut out your shoulder slope. Now we're going to separate the back from the front so we can cut out the front neckline as well. Now for the shoulder measurement, you go down by 10 and a half inches. If that is too wide for you, go down by 10 or 9 and a half inches. And then from that point, you come in by 1 inch and then you connect it to your shoulder um, measurement. Like I'm doing in the video. So it's a v-neck but not the usual v-neck. Now we are going to cut that out. When you open it up, this is how it should look like. So now we have the front and we have the back pattern. Now for the pocket, I'll freestyle as usual. I'll be folding my fabric into four and then I'll place my hand and then draw out my pocket the way I want it. You can do exactly like this and prom I promise you'll be fine. Now, this is exactly how it should look like. Go ahead and cut that out. So, we have four pieces of pocket, two for the front and two for the back. For this next thing, we have to cut. Now, we are going to join the front to the back with our shoulder. So, I'll be using half inch to join the shoulders together. I've gone ahead to join the shoulder and I'll also weave it at the same time. Now I'm going to mark the end of that our uh, v-neck so we can measure it all around to cut our black and neckline. So 
so i'm gonna have to cut up more than 32 inches um long and um two and a half inches wide that's on fold so when you open it up it is five inches now for the square i went ahead to cut 13 inches all the way around which as you can see i still needed to adjust because it wasn't straight i also added interfacing because my fabric wasn't thick enough now from that edge we're going to join our fabric all the way around and cut out any excess you have now this is what you should have so i'm just trying to check how best it is to finish off the rough edges over there you already know me just make sure you iron so it sits flat and it's easier for you to sew now we are going to notch the edge on both sides just to help us sew the neckline easily please just follow exactly what i'm doing in the video this is me just placing my square on that to see how it looks like so i've gone ahead to close up the down part of my neckline but what i did was i turned my fabric to the wrong part and then i stitch it i'll show you in a minute remember the notch you took earlier it made it easier for me to sew that so this was the area i sewed this was the area i ran my stitch to and then I turned it inside out and ironed it properly. So after you do that, you're good to go to the next step, which is sewing our square on our dress. You go ahead and notch the midpoint of your square, the up and the down parts for easy placement. Now this is the point where you get really creative and do whatever you want to do. You can either do this or any other thing you want to do. Just play around with it. So for mine, this is what I'll be doing. I'll show you the measurement I used. Come down by 4 inches, then come out by 2 inches from the midpoint, then you connect. At the down part, get your midpoint, then on the left, you come up by 3 inches, then you connect to the midpoint. While on the right side at the bottom you come up by 6 inches, then you connect to the midpoint. For I readjusted the right side, instead of connecting to the middle, I connected 0.5 inch before the middle. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and then use my hemming gum to um, gum it down so it doesn't move around. Now this is what I have. I'm going to fold in 0.25 inches, iron it down using my hemming gum like I'm doing in the video. So you repeat the same thing for all the corners you have to fold. So what I'm doing there is trying to use my hemming gum to close up that part. So this way it's a lot easier for you to top stitch your black fabric to your main fabric. So I went ahead to do that and then I went ahead to get my midpoint of my dress so I'll be able to place the fabric in a way that it is not bent in any way because I want it to be at the midpoint as much as possible. So that's what I'm marking there. Then I'll go ahead and pin my black fabric to my main piece before going to the sewing machine to top stitch. Please if you're using a different color for this just make sure you have the exact color of the thread so it doesn't look weird when you top stitch now you go to your sewing machine and you top stitch all the way now for us to stitch our pocket you have to come down from your shoulder measurement come down by 
10 inches and then you notch that area where you want to start fixing your pocket from and then you go ahead and turn our fabric to the right side and then you place your pocket from the notched area like I'm doing in the video so this is how it should be placed then you place that at the right and the left sides of the front and the back and then you go ahead to stitch it now from your right side facing each other you're going to join the sides of your dress like i'm doing in the video now this is how you should sew your dress you do the same thing for the other side as well and then you go ahead and weave it all the way around with the rough edges and cut off any threads you can find now we turn our dress to the right side to finish off our rough edges so we are going to finish off the down by folding it into two and then sewing it all the way around and we'll do the same thing for the sleeves and after that you're done thank you so much for tuning in to the channel today i hope you found the tutorials helpful in your sewing journey don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and please don't forget to like. Happy sewing!